Hey everybody, we're back in the shop today. Uh, a few of you guys wanted to see the seats go into this engine. So, I got the block on our Winona. Remember I showed you this yesterday. Um, <clears throat> seat and guide machine. Uh, we've got our pilot in here. And we've got our cutter. We've got the right size cutter for the seats. And we've got that lined up perfectly. And number four, I don't know if you can see it, uh, the seat area is extremely pitted. So that needs it. Uh, they all need it. These have been beaten down into the block so bad. Um, they all they all need to be have new seats put in. So uh Got the hardened seats here, four of them in the bag, and <clears throat> we are going to go down the thickness of the seat plus 50 thousandths, and we could set that uh, right here with this stop. So we'll set that. <clears throat> we'll, we'll touch off with this first. We'll set that, and uh, and then we'll bore them. I'm going to see if I can get the camera set up on the tripod to uh, film this while I'm cutting the seat. Okay guys, I think I got you in there so you can see. Turn the machine on and cut this first one. See how that goes. Okay, I'll try and take you around so you can see the pocket. <sighs> Chips out of there. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a perfectly set diameter and depth. So we'll just move along to uh, three, two, and one, and do the same process, and uh, and the seats will be in. Well, we gotta we'll stick them in the freezer, and then we'll bang them in there, um, and then we'll do all our blending and stuff, and three angle valve job and stuff like that. <clears throat> but um, uh, you see how easy it is with the machine, with the with the stop and everything. It just uh, cuts that seat in there perfectly. Okay, guys, here's the last seat. We have four perfect seats cut to the proper depth. I use some just some gauge blocks to get the uh, to get the depth I want, and then you can go ahead and put those right here. And you can set your you can set that guy to the right depth, so it all works out nice. Uh, and the gauge blocks work pretty good. Just figure the depth you want to go, lay those right in there, and um, you, you get the perfect depth every time. So now we'll take these guys and get one out of the bag for you. Uh, I find they go in a little bit easier if you freeze them.
Okay, that's a nice hard seat. You can run unleaded gasoline in there without any trouble. It won't burn up the seat. Um, so we'll stick those in the freezer for a little bit um, and then get the right driver, bang those in, and then uh, do our three angle valve job. Okay, we've got number four exhaust and number three exhaust seat in. And we're going to bang in number two and number one. So hopefully the lighting is okay. I'll grab one out of the freezer, run over here, and, uh, and bang it in. Okay, guys, fresh out of the freezer. Even when they're frozen, sometimes they can be tough to get in there. Uh, try and stay out of the camera. Okay, that one driver puts it most of the way. And then because we got to recess them. Okay, and we're nice and even with our surface there. And uh, that's uh, nothing to it other than just banging them in, keep them nice and square, bang them in there. And, uh, and the, the fit, the interference fit is made in the cutter. So you buy your cutter according to the size of seat you're going to put in there. And uh, you won't have any trouble at all. Everybody. It's a new day and I thought I'd get some sandblasting done today, but you can see it's pouring rain out. So we're not going to work on a J20 or do any sandblasting today. We'll head back inside and finish up those valves on Joey's engine. Okay, we've got the seats in yesterday, and I started cutting them, and I've got number four, number three, and number two finished, and I've been over cutting seats before plenty of times, um, maybe a few guys didn't see it, but I, I did get a lot of people want to see how to cut the seats, um, our intakes are already done, remember we did those. Uh, this is a brand new hardened seat, so we're going to run in there with a 60 degree. Uh, that's our first angle. Then we're going to have a 46 degree or as our second angle. And we're going to have a 31 around the top. So I will try and put some uh, blue dicom on there so you can see all three angles uh, as they happen. And we'll be using our new way cutters that we do all the time. And we'll send our pilot down through this guy. Put that in our freshly reamed guide. And everything will come off of there. And we'll make sure we have a nice concentric circle with our guide. So our valve is going to seat perfectly. So uh, let me start on this guy. And uh, like I say, we're going to run in there with the 60 degree first. Okay guys, I got some red dye on there. We're going to send our 60 degree down in there. We'll make a cut. Okay, I think you can see the ring of material that we took out. You see where it's shiny. Okay, that's our first 60 degree. Okay, now we've got our 46. Our valves are 45. Our cutter is 46. We want an interference fit there. Let me 
me die that up again so that you can see where the 45 is cutting. Uh, the three angle valve job is very important. A lot of engines I take apart from other shops. Guys having trouble with them. Uh, I'll take them apart and they just basically have gone in there with a 45 degree stone or 45 degree cutter. Uh, cleaned up the, the seat a little bit. And if your valves aren't sealing, you're just throwing horsepower away. And like I say, I've done lots of videos on valve seat cutting. and uh, I, I thought I explained it pretty good. But uh, you don't have a lot of horsepower in these old engines, so don't give any away for, for no reason. Okay, I think you can see the 45 degree cut. So we got a 60 and a 45, and then we're gonna finish up with a 31. Okay, and that helps the air fuel mixture and the exhaust uh, climb up the seat and get into the uh, into the combustion chamber here, or uh, or out as exhaust. So it takes a lot more. Um, cutting that I'm doing here. I just want to show you the three angles. So there's going to be a 31 right on top. The 31 is your, your smallest angle. It needs the, less, the least cutting. But uh, I'm hoping you can see right on top there now. Right on top there's a slight angle. So basically you could see uh, it wants to gently roll out and when it comes in it will roll back in there real nice um, so the three angle valve job is important and it's basically those three angles um, you'll hear guys now are doing five angle valve jobs six angle valve jobs uh, it's just is to make that transition smoother and that's the key and it will add torque and horsepower even though lately I've been getting a lot of guys that that are telling me you know my my motors won't last 10 minutes with running you know uh, I've got hundreds of engines out there lasting you know thousands and thousands of hours but um, this is the type of stuff um, I'm putting it out there you can follow along what I do or not it's entirely up to you uh, my engines run good and run for a good long time and uh, but like I say there's a lot of a lot of guys out there lately have been jumping all over me for no reason but um, we're gonna test this valve we're gonna see where it's hitting and I'm sure we're gonna have to go in there and cut again but uh, let's die that up test one of our valves and again on some more detailed videos uh, I show you the contact pattern and how thick it should be and where it should be on the valve and uh, and all that stuff is important so let's see what you can see there okay it's way thick contact area we got to cut that a little bit more um, want that line uh, it's in a good spot. It's not at the top. It's not at the bottom. It's just uh, it's a little bit closer to the top where we like it. We want that line to be, uh, you know, anywhere from eighty to a hundred thousandths. Um, yeah, any, anything like that will work out. I, I, I've given dimensions in other videos, but uh, um, you don't have to get super, super, super crazy on that. Just don't make it too wide like this one is, or too narrow. Uh, you want it when it seats, you want it to give up its heat, so you want a decent amount of of contact area. So we'll go in there, we'll tune this up again, and uh, we'll get this a, a little sharper here, and uh, I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Okay, here's our valve. See it jumping like it always does. I'll try and get you to contact pattern got a nice pattern on there now we'll put that in there 
Try and get you out here a little bit. Okay, we're going to stick our vacuum pump pad on the port. And this is where you lose most of your vacuum. Is you got to put some Vaseline on there. Let's turn the vacuum pump on. You can see we're pulling 21 inches of vacuum. Okay, no, no tricks here. We're just that's the actual vacuum we're pulling. The valve is is loose, so we know that's sealing good. And I can't stress enough how important that is to a good running engine. Uh, I mean, that valve has no spring on it. I mean, it's nothing. That's just a um, the vacuum pump pulling that down. 21 inches of vacuum. Okay, ah, we're losing some of our seal right there, but uh, a little Vaseline on there will really make a difference in getting true readings. So, uh, we know our four exhausts are sealing good, pulling 20, 21 inches of vacuum. Uh, our intakes we already did, we know those are pulling 20, 21 inches of vacuum. Uh, so that is a proper... Uh, three angle valve job on the intakes and you saw me put the seats in we cut those on our our new machine it makes uh, seat and guide work a little bit easier for me now um, this is what you should expect from an engine shop um, I don't know why it's hard to get or why uh, a lot of guys don't get that and um, uh, for all you guys that don't like the way I rebuild engines, I sure would like to see one of your engines rebuilt and running uh, before you shoot your mouth off. Um, but uh, these valves will last a long time. Uh, our block relieving, I don't want to get into that again because like I said, it took a lot of heat on that. And I don't know why. Um, doesn't seem too many people are familiar with uh, Willie's engines, L's or F's heads or anything like that. Um, and what, what they don't know, they just lash out at. So, uh, this is going to be a fantastic engine for Joey. Um, he is going to be super happy with the performance, I'm sure. And with all the valve work done now, uh, we're going to head over. <clears throat> I'll get this put in the honing machine. And we will fit our silver light pistons to the holes and uh, then we can move on to final assembly but uh, I hope you guys understand or at least know what to look for when you're having your engine rebuilt um, with the valve train um, there's really only one good way to do it and I showed it here so if, you, if you're not going to get this at your particular machine shop um, maybe think about a different machine shop but um, these valves will last a long time and be functioning for many, many years down the road. And uh, like I say, this relief is really going to make a difference. Um, I hope, it'll probably be a long time from now, but I hope when, when he has this in his vehicle, he's driving around, uh, he gives us an update on how he enjoys it. But uh, you can see how we saved a block that was super pitted. You remember how bad it was on number four so instead of throwing this block away we saved it we've got an original piece of of uh, the vehicle and uh, that's what it takes to save a block relieve a block put seats in and cut three angle valve jobs <laughs>